Scuderia Ferrari is making strides, a learning curve that involves several important factors. As for the track, we are now well aware of the strengths and weaknesses of the SF24 single-seater, a decent car that generally provides a good foundation to work on during the race weekends. The car is stable and balanced, thanks to various modifications that set it apart from its predecessor. The SF23, such as the chassis, tweaks to the suspension system, and a new fluid structure achieved through a more effective aerodynamic design in the undercut, the side pod design, coke bottle area, and some small updates for the diffuser. Well done indeed to the Marinello technicians. Although the front end has been significantly enhanced, a crucial component with which the red car builds its overall lap time, there is still something missing at the rear. In particular, during changes of direction, where the rear end fails to match the precision of the front. The same goes for traction, a strong point last year where performance was at its peak, often even surpassing that produced by the Red Bull RB19, a car capable of dominating the 2023 Formula One World Championship with great superiority. The Ferrari technical team, led by technical director of chassis and aerodynamics, Enrico Cardile, is making the utmost effort to fix some of the weaknesses of the 2024 F1 car. The result of their ongoing work is an aerodynamic package of substantial updates that we will see debut in the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix weekend at the Imola circuit in late May. A very important update that aims to enhance the car in all areas through an aggressive evolution of the technical principles considered in shaping the SF24 single-seater. Moreover, according to information recently reported by various Italian news media outlets, the prancing horse is speeding up to try to bring some small novelties for the race that will be held over 57 laps of the Miami International Autodrome in Florida, USA. The upcoming race at the Imola circuit has long been marked with a red circle on the calendar by the team drivers and fans, and not only because it takes place at home in front of the Tifosi. The weekend scheduled at the circuit named after Enzo and Dino Ferrari, we'll see the Marinello-based team unveil the much-awaited package of upgrades that is expected to partially revolutionize the SF24 to the extent that we have described it a 2.0 version of the car. It will be Ferrari's response to what has already been done by the main rivals on the track, namely, the upgrade debuted by Red Bull in the Japan GP and the one that McLaren will debut at the Miami Grand Prix the sixth event of the 2024 Formula One racing campaign that will feature a new dedicated livery, a dual shade of blue to evoke the past achievements of Italian cars on American soil. And Ferrari has continued to tease its startling switch to a blue-colored livery for the upcoming Miami Grand Prix. The Scuderia is set to roll out a very different-looking SF24, with the Italian company celebrating the landmark anniversary of its arrival to the market in North America. 2024 marks 60 years since Ferrari went on sale in North America, with the team opting to run a special US-inspired white and blue livery on their cars for the final two races of the 1964 season. For the Miami Grand Prix, the SF24 will race with two different shades of Ferrari blue, Azzurro La Plata and Azzurro Dino. The livery is yet to be properly revealed, but Ferrari has been doing quite a bit of teasing on social media, and with a new video showing off a road car livery, has offered further hints as to what the car may look like when it takes to the track at the Hard Rock Stadium. Charles Leclerc will be given the 296, decked in the Azzurro La Plata scheme, light blue, while Carlos Sainz will be given the Azzurro Dino, darker blue. Azzurro La Plata, the lighter shade of blue and Argentina's national racing color, closely resembles the colors worn by Ferrari racing legend, two-time F1 world champion Alberto Ascari, while later race suits worn by the likes of John Surtees, Lorenzo Bandini, Ludovico Scarfiotti, Chris Amon and Nicky Lauda all sported this shade of blue. Azzurro Dino, meanwhile, the deeper shade of blue, was most recently worn by Clay Regazzoni in 1974, after which the classic red synonymous with Ferrari took over. The livery reveal, to take place in Florida, on a date currently unconfirmed, will form part of a range of Ferrari events to celebrate their U.S. presence, starting on April 28th and concluding on May 5th with a parade of the Miami International Autodrome circuit ahead of the Grand Prix, led by a pair of blue 296 GTS models. Scuderia Ferrari most recently ran a special one-off livery at the 2023 Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix, which also paid homage to an iconic color scheme of their past, namely red and white. 
The race suits of Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz also got a corresponding makeover for that occasion. Returning to the on-track performance of the Marinello team, Ferrari's progress involves better managing the race weekend. We refer to managing the mechanical setup on track, trying to optimize the performance of the SF24 single-seater to the fullest, accessing maximum competitiveness and fully exploiting the car's potential therefore. A context that in the Chinese Grand Prix concerning tires was far from being apparent. We talked a lot about it, examining in depth the difficulties encountered by Scuderia Ferrari in warming up the hard tires during the race and consequently maintaining the correct working range throughout the stint. A task that proved to be an impossible mission last weekend at the 5.451 km Shanghai International Circuit. Obviously, there are other crucial aspects over the course of a race weekend. In addition to the improved pit stop capabilities compared to the previous Formula One championship, the strategic component is fundamental in modern Formula One competition. In this regard, it is worth spending a few observations on a new partnership that Ferrari has recently secured. A collaboration that will already be present, at least in terms of image, from the next Grand Prix in Florida. We are talking about the significant bond that the historic team has forged with HP, which becomes the so-called title sponsor of the red team. The details of the operation are known. The union put together is a natural occurrence, considering the performance and exceptional expertise that fuel the future. This is supported by Enrique Lores, chief executive officer of HP. The Spanish business executive, a native of Madrid with 59 springs under his belt in two weeks, shares common ground with the two entities that have decided to merge into an important new venture. It's worth pointing out that this partnership is not solely for economic purposes. On the contrary, its main target is to provide, in addition to a significant financial injection, around 100 million euros annually are mentioned, considerable technical support to help Ferrari improve. The chief executive officer of the red team also participates in the presentation ceremony. He does so by mentioning the legacy linked to continuous progress, which is precisely where the drive for innovation stems from. Setting aside the part concerning sustainability, with a focus on carbon neutrality and the education of new generations, the most important aspect of this joint commitment concerns the quality of the work done by HP in providing software tailored for the Marinello-based team. The goal is to further improve the quality and speed of how simulations are performed, significantly enhancing the strategic side. Another step forward that the Ferrari sports management has demanded and desired in order to enhance its know-how in a constantly evolving world of motorsport. The hypothetical field is now a crucial part of Formula One, a primary avenue through which characteristics and performance are thoroughly simulated during the design and development phases of a single-seater. The same goes for preparation for the weekend regarding car setup, in order to create effective tire models and master tire management, as well as to choose the most efficient tire strategies that can be adopted during a Formula One race.